greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your Pastor Yeti. Come with me in our meditation moment with our beloved Teresa of Avila. Kind thoughts. The soul could lose its peace and even disturb the peace of others by going about looking at trifling things in people that at times are not even imperfections. But since we know little, we see things, these things in the worst light. One of the humankind's greatest enemies is judgment. How quick we are to notice the splinter in our sister's or brother's eye without seeing the plank in our own. Teresa, up until the end of her life, was overseeing 18 monasteries, and the nuns were often housed in very closed quarters, where they eat, worked, and prayed together every day. Ample opportunities arose for personalities to conflict and for overzealous rel uh, religiosity to occur. Teresa quickly became a psychological expert and earned the reputation of having incredible insight into the true nature of any disturbance. She came to understand judgment as insidious and has the cause of much unrest and lack of love in her nuns. She witnessed that the good intention of helping another could simply be a, disgust, a disguised form of judgment. And very often the advice forthcoming was not solicited and therefore not welcome, causing offense or a rift in friendship. The advice could also be irrelevant, excuse me, irrelevant or not quite accurate. Since the situation was being judged according to another's understanding. And Teresa wrote, Ah, oh, if I should have to speak of the mistakes I have seen happen by trusting in the good intention. By busying ourselves with another's life, she said, we forget to look at our own life, which is where our intentions should be put. It is not anyone's responsibility to point out the faults of another. Our responsibility is to love. Unfortunately, too many relationships fall into a pattern of judgment in the guise of helping. In particular, our close relationships with our family and intimate partners are prone to this dynamic and can be a major cause of disharmony, since nothing erodes love more quickly than judgment. What one person may perceive as helping can feel like an accusation to another. We must allow others to be and simply love them as they are. Love has a greater effect than any advice. As a nun once said to me, the only thing people accept advice is when they ask for it. What do we do then when we find ourselves judging others? Teresa suggested seeking the good in one another and not focusing on faults, whatever we perceive them to be. We are to bring love, not condemnation, into the heart. If you love one another, she said, then of others, uh, other actions should not annoy us. But if we are becoming disturbed, then we should look within to see if those very same faults reside within us. 
we should not bring them to our friends' attentions, unless, of course, they are a major concern. Rather, let each one look to herself, and let mutual love reign. By looking to our own life, we can overcome the need to help others. Alternatively, we can appropriate avenues for the need, this needs to be expressed. This may be through our profession, through being a volunteer in our community, or simply through being available when friends or family need help. If we can step outside the place of good intention and simply be available to love, people will readily seek our counsel or help when it is required. Removing ourselves from judgment, from your own and from others, and being open to love is the greatest gift you can give to the world. Let's meditate in that short moment with each other. Allow yourself to melt into the arms of the Divine. Feel yourself being held and loved and feel your heart open more to the great love there for you. Know that you are loved exactly as you are. Dwell in that love and let it pervade every part of your being. Now, see your family, friends, and partner and love them in the same way. Let the love flow from your heart to theirs. Bask there as long as you can. Let the beloved love you, my dear ones. Blessings to all of you. Mupasriyadeh.